Has this ever happened to you? It's warm! Has your day ever been ruined by a warm drink on a cold Christmas day? Cold Christmas morning? Well, today I'm going to teach you how that'll never be a problem anymore. And all you need is some ice, some salt, a water, bowl, and something to cool down. But first, safety's the number one priority. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so basically how this works is that the salt on the ice basically lowers the melting point of the ice which causes... Hey, Future World here. I'm here to explain why uh, the salt thing works on a chemical level and uh, the specifics of it. Uh, so when you add salt to the ice cube, like I said before, it lowers the melting point, which means that the ice cube is above its melting point, so it will melt. All right, and as it melts, it needs energy. So what does it take energy from? The soda can, right? Makes sense. Um, that is if you study <laughs> thermodynamics. But yeah, it takes uh, heat from the soda can, right? And uses it to melt even further because melting does in fact take energy. That's why it works. <laughs> Future Worlder back at it again with the edits. So again, to just add a little bit more to this video, the reason why uh, ice needs the energy to melt is because um, as it melts, it breaks bonds, and that's why ice turns into water. That's why uh, the solid turns into liquid, because those bonds are breaking, and those like aren't really close together, and they start you know, drifting away from each other, which makes it into a liquid. And, well, solid states are closer together, liquid states are farther apart, and gases are way farther apart. That's that's uh, just a general song. Now, because this is an experiment, we will also be trying out just putting the can in a freezer and seeing how long that'll take. Spoiler alert, it's a long time. We will also be wrapping a can of soda in uh, some wet paper towels, which will theoretically speed up the process. And then finally, we will do salt ice water in a bowl. Mr. Saturn says that it's time to start the experiment first right, so with first just the freezer. Can, as you can see, this is a slightly unopened Pepsi uh, container. It's outside. It's been outside for about two days, so it's room temperature now. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put it in the freezer. As you can see, I have made a makeshift cardboard thing to put the can on so that uh, it will not be affected by the metal or whatever that's in the freezer. I am now lighting it down. So as you can see, I just put it down right there. And we're going to come back and see how long it takes to make it ice cold. I'll be checking every 10 minutes. And hopefully I don't have to check like 30 times. Alright, so it's around 3.40 right now. Uh, to make a long story short, uh, the original where I put the uh, can in the freezer for the first time was recorded at 2.55 and was periodically checked for 10 to 20 minutes. Uh, just to sum it up and make the video quicker, the first 10 minutes it got slightly colder and then progressively got slightly colder and after about an hour it got as cold as it'll be. Well, more like an hour 30 minutes according to the timer. Just to give visual proof on the time, as you can see, Four o'clock, well, almost four o'clock, and I'm gonna check in for the maybe second, third to last time. I grab it. Oh, seems like I cut. It doesn't seem like it's gonna get any colder than this, but I'll come back in thirty minutes. See if it's any chill. Well, it's thirty minutes later. To reiterate, this clip is kind of yeah. useless, but uh, just to ensure that you guys know that. It's not going to get any colder than this, all right? 30 minutes later, it's around the same temperature just by feeling. And because at this time, like this I did not have a thermometer. Like and, uh, yeah. No clue how I'm going to record this. The following clip is preparation for the wet paper towel experiment. And after we get the paper towel wet, we're going to wrap soda in a paper towel. Hold up. Oh, this is very difficult. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, is he done yet? Yeah. yeah. 
Pepsi okay. Pepsi. I have now wrapped it. I have now wrapped the Pepsi can in water. And then put it in the freezer, lie it down right there. So yeah, as you can see, I have taken the Pepsi can that is wrapped on with uh with a wet paper towel and I put it on top of the cardboard. So I have the uh, wet paper towel covered Pepsi. I'm gonna wait 10 minutes and come back to see if it got as cold as the other uh, can of Pepsi. Well, guess who was a dum dum and forgot to record? Uh, to put it in short, after about 10 minutes, it got slightly colder. Then I went out to the store to get this. We got a meat thermometer. In this clip, Will Disrate explains how the paper towel has frozen and that the can has fallen out. But because he's awful at recording video, you can't hear that, can you? Now, back to the show. In this clip, Will de Serate opens a meat thermometer unfunnily and uses a weird and wacky voice to try to sound funny. He isn't. He doesn't know that in reality, but he does now. Hindsight is 2020. So say hello to Michelle, my lovely assistant. She will be holding the soda can. So this one's this one's wrapped with a paper towel. Okay. So remember that. All right. Don't hold them next to each other. Okay. Hold them in separate hands. Actually, just keep them on the table and I'll ask you for a moment. And I'll hold this one? No. Uh, yeah, sure. That's the room temperature one. So the first one. This, this one, one was, in was in the freezer. It was in the freezer for about, an hour, for about one hour and 30 minutes. minutes. What Will Serrate fails to say in this clip is that this is the can that has only been put in the freezer with cardboard under it. Nothing else, no paper towel, no nothing. But because he's a dunce, he doesn't understand that his audio is awful. Looks like it stopped at 40 degrees. So we can deduce that this is... You know, so we ain't really never had no old money. We got a whole lot of new money, though. <laughs> hey! Raindrop, drop top, drop top, smoking no cooking the hot pot. Cookies, know your bitch here, dot dot dot, cooking up deep in the crock pot. This one was in the freezer, wrapped with a paper towel, for about thirty minutes. Also, the thermometer was washed. Also, a full explanation of why this works will be at the very end of the video. Hey, Chris Chris yeah. Out all you Michelle, if you would please pass me the wrapped in paper towel one. That is the room temperature one. Thank you. As you can see, this was wrapped in a paper towel. Uh, this is immediately after taking it out of the freezer. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it back in. As you can see, we set it to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And see. this was in the freezer for about 30 minutes. So, about 40, 44 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if my lovely assistant will pass me the room temperature Pepsi. Uh, just to ensure that you guys know that this has been resetted, as you can see, it is in 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So, don't miss show. Nobody wants to see your finger. That one got on my speaker. Oh, that one's fizzy. Uh oh. Do you want me to no, get no, a towel? No, it's, it's okay. Okay, this is for science, Michelle. Right? Okay. Science. Why is it? Why is it? Um, let's see. Oh. So, as you can see, it is at. Uh, like 71, 72 degrees, something around that, which is... It's now time for the number one contender in the world! Salt water ice in a bowl. Your first step will be to add water to the bowl. Essentially what this does is add water to the bowl. Just a little bit though. Your second step is to take the bowl, put it on the table, Grab your bag of ice that you conveniently have from your local corner store and open it. So what you want to do is you want to take the ice. You want to take the ice from your local corner store and just fill it. Just fill the bowl. Just, just add a lot of ice. You need a lot of ice. Then you're going to want to take your ice Table salt. salt and put uh, about a handful. So And just spread it around the ice cubes. 
like I said earlier, this will help make the ice uh, have a lower melting point. And it will also, now that you have your ice, salt, and water in a bowl, all nicely mixed together, you grab your soda can. Uh, yeah. So, as you can see, this is just the box. This is a new soda can, room temperature, been here for two days. And we're just going to put it in the bowl. We're just going to keep it there. All right. We're gonna we're gonna casually mix it. Two minutes. We're probably gonna add more salt to it too because it seems like we're also gonna have a handy little counter over here for 18 more minutes than I need to. Uh, we're gonna keep this for about two minutes and see the progress. Let's hope that it actually chills it. Yeah. Yeah. So Let's as see. you can see, I'm still stirring, and there's about uh, eight seconds left on the counter. And five. Four, three, two, one. Hey, let's stop. And after those two minutes, you should have the ultimate awesome cool soda can. And my sister's eating the salt for some reason. Jeez, Michelle, don't do that. We have our meat, our meat thermometer right here. So we're going to take the can out. Oh, it actually feels really cold. Anyway, we're going to open it. Please, lovely assistant, please do me help me. Uh, as you can see, 80 degrees, and it's dropping, 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 dropping. Oh! Oh! Wait, hold on. Oh, so now your drink is ready to give to anyone. Like, say, your little sister who's trying to hide. No, I'm joking. Or your parent who's in the bathroom. Or your dad. Who's just relaxing. You're welcome, Mr. Sorate. Take a drink. Thank you. Is that cold? Mm. And now that you just finished your experiment, you can drink the salt water too. Hey, it's Wilder here. I'm trying to hide from the police, but I'm basically gonna recap what happened. So salt, water, and ice mixed together will lower the water's uh, melting point to about 28 degrees, right? And because of that, uh, the second law of thermodynamics comes in when you put the room temperature soda inside. The uh, warmness of the soda will want to go, well, will be sucked up by the coldness of the water. This is because, um, as the second law of thermodynamics states, stuff's gonna get warm or stuff's gonna just keep on changing forever and things are gonna take away heat from one another uh don't know why exactly this is it's it's just the way the world is but yeah that's why that works as to why the uh as to why it's quicker what did i just say the coldness just instantly just goes into the soda you know it transfers the heat or yeah it transfers the heat and yeah that's why it works uh i just want to thank everybody for watching it uh i spent quite a bit of time actually i spent a whole entire day doing this um but thank you to everybody who watched this i appreciate you thank you to mr warner for uh, uh signing this project to us it's it was fun it was a fun thing to do thank you to my parents for lending me money so i could actually buy the supplies um and thank you to thermodynamics because those things are dope <laughs> and just so i get a good grade the property of water, melting point, <laughs> is changed when salt is added because mm, of chemical reactions.